Ray Fisher posted this on Twitter today. Josh Whedon's onset treatment of the cast and crew of Justice League was gross, abusive, unprofessional and completely unacceptable. He was enabled in many ways by Jeff Johns and John Berg. Accountability Entertainment. I guess you could say that Cyborg is literally breaking the internet. Hi guys, welcome back to Movies Matter with the Viking and Ray Fisher's been dropping some troop bombs today on social media. Now the other day he shared that video from Comic Con 2017 where he praised Josh Whedon saying he was the right man and Zach picked the right person to come in and finish the project. Praising Josh Whedon. He shared that image on Twitter, on Vero, on Instagram saying I want to fully uh, retract everything that I said in this video so he took back all the praise he had for Josh Whedon and that got people going it was like whoa that came out of nowhere fuck he's talking and what else is going to come out about Josh Whedon maybe Jeff Johns on set well today some shit dropped now us fans we know that Josh Whedon was brought in and Jeff Johns after Zack Schneider left the project look Jeff Johns was involved and seemingly he was handing Zack Schneider notes after notes to change scenes, change dialogue and Zack Schneider was getting really pissed off about it all. Zack ended up leaving the project of course for personal reasons also but Josh Whedon was brought in to redirect the film, to reshoot the entire film. We know all this and Jeff Johns and him worked closely together to give us the 2017 version that we got which is a piece of shit. Okay, it's okay if you like that film, it's okay. I won't sound bad to you but it's a piece of shit. From the film that we were supposed to get. But thankfully next year in 2021. Thanks to HBO Max. Thank you HBO Max. That Zack Snyder's Just League is finally coming. But but Ray Fisher. And now I think more people are going to come out and say shit that happened on set. Seemingly. The on set behaviour from Josh Whedon was gross. It was poor. It was everything. It was bad. That's it. What's exactly was in Ray Fisher's tweet. And he also called out Jeff Johns and John Berg. So man... As I've said before, I'm sure on set was a nightmare after Zack Schneider left. Anybody that's ever worked with Zack Schneider has high praise for the man. They respect the man, they would do anything for him. Ben Affleck, who said he's retired as the Dark Knight, said he would do anything for Zack Schneider, anything to help him. And he did that by tweeting the hashtag back in November. And he also, he's probably going to come back to do additional scenes for Zack Schneider. Just like maybe more. The reports are saying he might come back for more. But on set, it must have been a nightmare. They came back, they came in, reshot the entire film, redid scenes, added stupid dialogue, and we got the poor box office, the poor received film we got in 2017. Ray Fisher's calling out Josh Reed and calling out John Burr, calling out Jeff Johns for the abusive, toxic behavior that was on set during those times. And I fully believe we're going to hear more about what happened on set, definitely. And we know for us, for, for guaranteed, more shit happened on set of that film. It definitely did. Um, we can just see that Gagadot's stunt woman spoke out as well. She was made sit there while Ezra Miller landed on her boobs and Gagadot wouldn't do that. So there's more there's more stuff that's gonna definitely come up about what happened on the onset of Zach of, of it was supposed to be Zach Schneider's Justice League, that's what they told us, but it was Josh Whedon's Justice League and Jeff Johns and John Berg and all the other executives. So time will tell what exactly happened, but it doesn't look good for Josh Whedon. Look. Josh Whedon, Jeff Johns have done absolutely great stuff in the entertainment world. They've made great films, great shows, great comic books. But it does not take back, it does not take away what they did on, on Justice League. It really, really doesn't. You know, you can be, you can be, you can make great art, but you can be a shitty person. And you'll always be a shitty person unless you change your behavior the way that you act. So I'm a big fan of Josh Whedon's Avenger Age of Ultron. I think Avengers 1 is overrated, but it's still good. And Jeff Johns, I like work that he's done on Titans and things like that. But the shit that they pulled on Justice League was just... It was bad. And Warner Brothers should have known that. And people say, well, Josh Whedon was hired to do a job that he went and did... When he, what he went and did. Man, he never should have done the job in the first place. They had four months to reshoot, re-edit, add new music, change the colour, everything... For a multi, 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 multi million dollar film. Four months. He should have never got involved. He should have never took on the job in the first place. What should have happened was they should have given Zack his full control. Jeff John should have never got involved. And the studio should have supported Zack the way that the fan base has. But more people are going to comment about what's happened on set. They definitely win. Ray Fisher is just the start. He will not be the last. Jason Momoa. I won't be surprised if he says something. But guys, let me know what you thought of... You think it's bad from Ray Fisher saying this? But the thing is, people are saying, why is he saying it now? It's very different now. 
Before, there was no such thing as Zack Snyder's Justice League being announced. So now he can say it without his career being hurt to an extent. He's going to star in Zack Snyder's Justice League anyways, and maybe in future installments as well. So he can, his career is not really hurting. And also we're living in a time where behavior is called out. We're living through racism, through sexual abuse, through gay rights, everything like that. And when people stand up against those kind of good things and question people and bully people or stuff like that it's called out upon very quickly so that's why there won't be much pushback for what Ray Fisher is saying because we're living in a society where a lot of shit is getting exposed where a lot of shit is coming out about people and it's being and people have to be held accountable and that's what exactly Ray Fisher is saying but guys let me know your thoughts on Ray Fisher giving out this tweet do you think we'll see more let me know what you think of the behavior of Josh Whedon anyway guys Comment down below, let me know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And until next time, Ray Fisher is taking no shit.